Before we begin rounding numbers to the nearest 10,000, we need to know which multiples of 10,000 are on either side of any given number. Multiples of 10,000 are numbers which can be divided by 10,000 with no remainder. For example, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, and so on. Here is the number 67,000. We're going to place our number on a number line in order to identify which multiples of 10,000 67,000 sits between. We know that 67,000 sits between 60,000 and 70,000 because 67,000 has a six in the 10,000s column and a seven in the thousands column. Therefore, the multiples on either side of 67,000 are 60,000 and 70,000. Here is the number 85,000. Again, we're going to work out where to place our number on the number line in order to identify the multiples of 10,000 which sits on either side. 85,000 has an eight in the 10,000s column and a five in the 1000s column. Therefore, 85,000 sits between 80,000 and 90,000. The last number we'll be placing on our number line is 4,000. We know that 4,000 has nothing in the 10,000s column and a four in the 1000s column. Therefore, 4,000 sits between zero and 10,000. Now we're going to round each of these three numbers to the nearest 10,000. When we do this, we need to remember two things. Number one, when rounding to the nearest 10,000, we round to the multiple of 10,000, which our number is closest to. And number two, when rounding to the nearest 10,000, if a number lies exactly halfway between two multiples of 10,000, we round to the next multiple of 10,000. Let's give it a go. Using our number line, we're going to round 67,000 to the nearest 10,000. We already know that 67,000 sits between 60,000 and 70,000. And we know that 67,000 will round to its closest multiple of 10,000. The midpoint between 60,000 and 70,000 is 65,000. We can see on our number line that 67,000 is closer to 70,000 than it is to 60,000, and therefore 67,000 rounded to the nearest 10,000 is 70,000. Again, using our number line, we're going to round 85,000 to the nearest 10,000. We already know that 85,000 sits between 80,000 and 90,000, as 85,000 is the midpoint. We notice here that it does not sit closer to either. In fact, it lies exactly halfway between 80,000 and 90,000. In this case, we need to remember that when rounding to the nearest 10,000, if our number lies exactly halfway between the multiples of 10,000, then we round our number to the next multiple that it sits between, which in this case is 90,000. Therefore, 85,000 rounded to the nearest 10,000 is 90,000. For our last number, we will round 4,000 to the nearest 10,000. We already know that 4,000 sits between 0 and 10,000. The midpoint between 0 and 10,000 is 5,000. If we look carefully at the number line, we can see that 4,000 is closer to 0 than it is to 10,000. So therefore, 4,000 rounded to the nearest 10,000 is 0. Thanks for watching. See you next time.